Uh, my name is Usman Javed and I'm working in Vodafone Group Technologies in the LTE products team and I'm responsible for LTE trials and LTE demonstrations uh, within Vodafone. Okay, so we are doing trials in different markets and I'm, I'm leading that. Our position on LTE is that, you know, we think that our current network our current network in our global markets is able to meet the demand and requirements of the customer for, for now. And we are also evolving our 3G network for future. So, you know, we think that we are not in rush for LTE. We would deploy that. It's a future technology, but not before 2012-2013. So, we are evolving our current networks to meet, meet the increasing demand from the customers. At the same time, we are performing trials in different markets and we have a very comprehensive trial program with all the different vendors in different countries. And we are on top of things in LTE, we understand the technology, and the day we decide to launch LTE, I think is we, we are very proactive on it, so we can launch very quickly. Our global strategy is that we, we, we deploy LTE, so it's our future technology. But we may have certain exceptions in some of the markets we already have WiMAX. But global strategy is to go for LTE. The demonstration we are presenting here is, uh, is a live demonstration of LTE network. And we are running all the applications on top of LTE. So we have a LTE base station in the technical room. As you see here, we have these two devices here which are connected to the LTE base station. And matter whatever I'm going to demonstrate to you is running on top of LTE. Okay. The application that we are going to show you is a very innovative application, and it meet you know it meet the requirement of the customer. And this is a unique application that doesn't exist today. And if you ask me what this application do or what why it is unique, what it does is it goes to your different social networking websites like Facebook, Twitter, MySpace and pull all the videos from there and create your video network. So the problem that you face today with Facebook or any of these social networking applications is that you don't, you, these applications are not designed to share videos, right? If you watch a video today and in one month's time you want to get back to the same video, you won't find it because it's gone in your history. And that's not a problem of Facebook because Facebook is not designed for your history. It's designed for your current information, what you are doing today, what you are doing tomorrow. It's not about, yeah, it's not about Except what you are doing. YouTube. YouTube it's only for video. And that, that, this is where I am going. So, but YouTube, I would come to that. So, or let me answer that. YouTube is different because YouTube is global videos. It is not relevant to you. I'm talking about a social network. If you pull the videos from social network, they are only relevant to you, your friends and their friends. And friends always have common interests, common language. Much personalized. Much personalized, exactly. So it's a personalized experience that you're gonna get. Let me show you the demonstration, okay? So this is the application. And this is running on top of LTE. We require LTE for this. It can also run on 3G or on our HS PA Plus networks today. But we would have better experience on LTE because in future people would share, the cameras would become cheaper. People would buy high definition cameras and the videos they share would be, you know, high definition. And for that you need more capacity, more demand. And this application is leveraging the value of LTE, right? Here in this application, you see that you show the video here. And these are the videos which are coming from your friends or their friends. So it's coming from different social networking websites. If I just move my cursor here, it shows the person who is the owner of this video. It's Tommy, it's Rachel, it's Vivi, you know, different people, different friends. If you want to watch a video, just double click it. It comes in the middle and, you know, you can show the video. If you, if you are wondering who is the owner of this video, you just click on the information and it shows the, you the information of the person and you can add him as a friend. So what you are doing is you have social networks, you have video network on top and you are creating more friends based on the video interest. Mm -hmm. Right, so it's a video network on top of social networks. It's a very exciting concept. And it, it, is, it is bringing all your e videos together in one interface. So it's a very user friendly. Right. This application also comes with some other interesting stuff. As we once discussed, this search facility. The search you do here is inside out. It first search in your friends and then their friends. It's different from YouTube. 
So there is a facility to, there is a feature of storyboard. So what you can do is, you can create a story. Imagine that your friends had a birthday party. Everyone came to the birthday party. Everyone shared the videos on their social networking websites. You pull those videos and create your video network. And then the videos are here. So you just drag and drop, drag and drop. Put your comments into it and create a story and call it birthday party in 2010 and then you keep an album of it keep a record of it and you know all your friends can also comment you know and it can be more interactive more exciting another cool feature for this application is the network view so it shows you who are your friends who are the friends of your friends and you can have a graphical representation of your friends right and this application also comes with some other facilities. You can do a video chat with the friends who are online. You can create video blogs. You can create different interest groups. Imagine that all friends are interested in football. So you create an interest group, you add friends, you add videos, you know, and you make it more interactive. And more traffic, so when the users are excited, they generate more traffic they, and they feel good. And Vodafone company like Vodafone, we generate a revenue. So you know, it's a happiness for the whole supply chain, for the whole value chain. Um, yeah. So this is this is a very exciting application, and this is developed uh, in a university innovation program. So this is research project, and this is expanding, and they are adding more and more features into it. But it's a project based uh, in uh, one specific country, or? Worldwide. No, it's a project developed by Penn State University in the U.S. In the U.S. Mm -hmm. uh, do, do you think that uh, this project could be um, an addition for the YouTube or a connection with YouTube? Exploit the I think it's, or no, it's not? No, I Complete? think I think you can combine it. You like your search facility when you search in friends and friends and friends, and then you go to the YouTube as well and you perform the search. So the results you get are more relevant and then it becomes less relevant to you. So you can do that, certainly. Mm -hmm. But this is about the videos shared by your friends, you know, which may might have different significance as compared to videos available on YouTube. And the entry in this uh, network uh, could be on the password or...? Exactly, you know, uh -huh. for example, if Vodafone offers this application as a part of our Vodafone 360, so user can tell that which are its social network accounts, and then it creates a video network based on all these accounts that you provide. Okay. I have another demonstration to show you the capability of LTE, and that is also video related. Here you see, imagine yourself in, uh, in Olympics 2012 in London, and you are watching all these videos, different games going on on your iPhone, right? And these videos are uh, low definition because they are small size, so they are 300 kilobit per second. This one is high definition, so this is 3 megabit per second. And this is every throughput that a user need to, per to watch this video, to watch this application. Now imagine that you are watching this video and you all of a sudden want to switch to this one. And this switching should be very fast. I just click on it and you switch it. So what happened was it transferred transfer this video from a low definition to a high definition just in a second. It went to the server downloaded a large amount of data which LTE allows you because it's a high capacity system and your switching is so quick. I do it again. I would request you to look at this number when I do the switching. So it's 5 meg per second. You click it. It downloads a large amount of data. It goes to 12 meg per second and then it's come back again to average user experience which is uh, around 5 meg per second. So this peak that you experience here, it is possible because of LTE. It has a lot of capacity to offer. User only needs 5 meg per second, but if he needs more, it is also still available to the customer. Now it's a live application. It's a live it's application, running. yeah. Uh -huh. It's running on it's the not server. A demo in the no, 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 everything is going on this. Uh -huh. I can c connect to the internet, you see. Uh -huh. You have internet as well here. Uh -huh. uh -huh. okay. uh, you can look at the at the view outside the Mumbai North Congress. So it's everything is on the on on the radio LT radio network. Imagine that you have a, a large number of videos to share with your, uh, to, to look at in your in your mobile phone. So it provides you a very good interface for this. And this is an application which is already available on the internet, right? So you, it shows you a, a panoramic view of uh, of videos. This is how you can present the videos. You know, someone asks this question that. The video network, you have so many videos to show on one screen, how you do that. So this is how you can do that using this type of interfaces.